It's late in the evening, glass on the side, and sad with you for most of the night. Ignoring everybody here, we will still disappear, so maybe we can get down now. I don't wanna know if you're getting ahead of the program. I want you to be my lady to hold your body close. Take another step into no man's land For the longest I am lady I need you darling Go and set the tone If you feel you're falling Won't you let me know Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. If you love me Go and set the tone If you feel you're falling Hi guys, this is How To Play Sing by Ed Sheeran. We've got more Ed Sheeran songs and loads of strumming help as well as a free beginners course at the channel if you want to subscribe by clicking in the top corner or uh, making your way to andyguitar.co.uk where you'll find every lesson of mine for free on YouTube um, all categorised and easy to find with a search box at the top to make it easy to find any lesson that you're looking for. To make this appropriate for as many people as possible on my channel, I'm playing this song with capo at fourth fret, though you can do it with a G sharp minor bar chord and a C sharp minor bar chord as well as if you would like. But we're gonna go for four bars of E minor and four bars of A minor for the whole song, which makes this appropriate for level four of my beginners course but the strumming pattern is far harder than that. So if you're having a go at this and you're around about level four of the beginner's course, um, please be aware that this strumming is incredibly difficult and it, you may not get it on the first attempt and you may have to revisit this at another time when you can have a, a real crack at the strumming. But the single note line and the chords should be for absolutely everyone. Um, so we have an E minor chord with a capo at fourth fret for four bars. And then we have an A minor chord with help of the multi-angle. Um, an A minor chord, absolutely the standard way that you would play it. Without the capo, we would be doing a G sharp minor bar chord, barring our first finger at fourth fret. We haven't got our middle down, middle finger down. And we have the third and little finger at sixth fret on the fifth and fourth strings. So that is in place of our E minor chord if you want to have a go at that chord. And then it's a C sharp minor bar chord, which is the same bar at fourth fret, but we're moving everything down and playing an A minor shape with fingers two, three, and four. Because my channel's mainly aimed at beginners, I'm gonna be showing the rest of this lesson appropriate to capo at the fourth fret. But be aware if you're following this for the strumming and other help, that you just have to substitute those two chords the way I've just showed you now. So let me demonstrate that first strumming pattern which is used in the first verse to start of the song. So that's four bars of one and two and a three and four and a without the muting one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a with the muting we want to really heavily mute everything so resting our hand on the bridge here to get this very muted sound and percussively hitting the guitar rather than strumming on beats two and four and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and it's late in the evening glass on the side I 
one and two and a three and four and a. And then on the A minor chord, or the C sharp minor chord, we have a little hammer on of the chord, so the strumming pattern changes straight away when we change chord. So if we notice the strumming action now, rather than the specific down or ups that I'm doing, it's always going to be going 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a. And if we check that now. You can even have a go at doing this on eighths. One and two and three and four and. But let's see if we can get this strumming pattern. The first one is certainly easier. So one and two and a three and four and a. So Ed Sheeran typically strums just with his hand without a pick, kind of having the first finger and the thumb placed together as if you're holding a pick, but keeping them very loose so that they will come apart. And to get a more natural sound like he does in many sessions, that's something that you might want to try. However, it's incredibly difficult to get the sound nice and even, and um, you can end up with blisters on your fingers quite easily, to quote John Lennon. Um, so you'll want to be very relaxed when you do it, or if you are using a pick, use a super soft pick around about, you know, less than 50 or 0.5 millimeters, and that should get you that much more natural kind of quiet dampened sound when we're going for these sorts of riffs. But if you're using your fingers, But as I say, it's much harder to get that even sound when you're varying the contact between the thumb, the first finger, and even occasionally on the bigger strums, catching with the outside of all your fingers like this to get a really strong hit on that uh, two and four. So I do recommend using a pick for all of these, and Ed Sheeran tends to use a pick live, as I say. If you play with your finger ends too much, you do tend to get some blisters. So a recap on this strumming pattern. On the E minor, we have one and two and a three and four and a. Trying to mute it as much as we can. And on the A minor, we've got the hammer on, open to hammer on. In the chorus section, which I'm counting as the part of the song that goes, I need you, darling, come and set the tone, all the way through to oh, 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 oh. There's a third strumming pattern which is used for both chords. So um, this one is slightly less muted and the action becomes even more prominent. And for many people, this can be even tougher, but let me demo this one first of all. Let's break it down a little bit. So one bar of this becomes down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. But with certain mutes. Down and down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 down. down. Down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, up, 
up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Gotta keep that hand moving, remember, guys. So down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. But there's also a hammer on after that first down. Strong hammer on your E minor chord. Down, hammer on, up, down, up, up, down. With the muting. On the A minor. If you need more help with any strumming patterns, I recommend you check out lesson two of every level of my free beginners course, best found at andyguitar.co.uk, but also as a playlist that's available on YouTube when you subscribe. It takes you from the absolute basics of strumming right down to lessons such as this or the strumming pattern from Get Lucky and other Ed Sheeran songs. So that's really going to help you kind of get this strumming pattern up to this level, but more incrementally rather than just going hell for leather and going straight to it. And that can be a great help for people that will get you playing this in a quicker amount of time and have a knock on effect to improve your guitar playing in general. So as the main riff from the record, isn't actually done in the uh, session version. It's, it's rarely kind of there when he plays this. Um, we're going to do it without the capo um, because then we can basically play it correctly. Um, we'd be missing a note out otherwise and it should be straightforward for most people to go for. So let's have a look at the main riff now. We're going to have your third finger at 6th fret on the 5th string. And then we're going to go down to your first finger at fourth fret on that same string. And then we're going to put your little finger at seventh fret on the thickest E string, third finger at sixth fret, and then finally first finger at fourth fret. So we have five notes one, two, three. Four, five. And that's the first five notes of our riff. One, two, three, four, five. If you choose to use a capo, you could do those um, going to the what would be the open string with the capo. And I'll have that tabbed out on my website if you follow the links um, in the description below. But I'd like most people following this channel to have a go at this little riff. So that's how to play Sing by Ed Sheeran. Um, do check out my channel for a couple more Ed Sheeran songs. We have Thinking Out Loud and You and I already filmed, and plus loads of strumming help. It's mainly the strumming or single string picking that you want help with on this lesson. So uh, do check out the channel and subscribe, and I'm uploading new videos all the time, but the full free beginners course is where you want to start if the strumming has been a struggle for you. And uh, I will see you later on the channel and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.